couple of years ago when I taught advanced pre-calculus, a very neat student asked me a very interesting question, which is, what is i to the ith power? And um, we're going to answer that question in this video. To answer the question, we should uh, consider this equation here, which, by the way, is not hard to prove. Uh, using Maclaurin series in Calc 2, uh, we can prove this equation. In fact, I'll prove it and leave a link to that video below this video. Now, to get started here, in addition to this equation, we also require that we consider radian values that are of this form. Um, and so some of these radian values are like pi over 2 when n is equal to 0, right? And then um, 5 pi over 2 when n is 1, uh, 9 pi over 2 when n is 2, and so on. Yeah, you get it. Okay. And um, so... Let's see what happens if we plugged in any one of these radian values uh, into that. Yeah? So we'd get, if we plugged in, for, for instance, pi over 2, we'd get e to the i times pi over 2 equaling um, cosine of pi over 2 plus i times sine of pi over 2. Now, we should know from trigonometry that cosine of pi over 2 is 0 and sine of pi over 2 is 1. And therefore, we'd get 0 plus i times 1, which is simply i. So you see e to the i times pi over 2 is the same as i. And in fact, it'd be true if we plugged in 5 pi over 2 or 9 pi over 2. e to the i times 5 pi over 2 is also i, and e to the 9 pi over 2 um, times i is also i and so on. So you get it. You get it. Uh, in fact, there are infinitely many radian values that it return i when we plug them into here. Yeah? But this one is good enough. Now, if this is equal to i, right, then i to the ith power uh, must be the same thing as doing e to the i times pi over 2 um, to the ith power. But wait by the exponent rule that says that a to the b to the c power is equal to a to the b times c power, uh, we see that what we have could be written as uh, e to the i squared, i squared because i times i, and then times pi over 2, right? And i squared we all know is negative 1, so this is going to turn into e to the negative pi over 2. Uh, and therefore, 1 divided by e to the pi over 2. So one answer to our question of what is i to the ith power is 1 over e to the pi over 2. And I say one answer because you'd get a different answer if you plugged in 5 pi over 2. So you'd get 1 over e to the 5 pi over 2 had we used 5 pi over 2 instead. And likewise with 9 pi over 2 and many other values. Yeah? Cool. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.